Hello guys, so welcome to Freebird Screw and in this video I will tell you about the polynomial linear regression. So polynomial linear regression is just another type of linear regression that includes the linear terms like x1 and also the non-linear terms like x2, x3, x1 into x2. These kind of linear terms are added in the data. Now let me just show you a graph. So if you see in this kind of graph, we have a very linear kind of uh, data we have without any kind of curve in the data but if we see about this graph this graph has certain kind of a curve added to it that curve shows the uh, non-linearity in the data okay so because of this non-linearity in the data we use the polynomial regression and polynomial regression has a certain term that is called degree of the regression so the if a de degree is one it can be termed as uh, univariate linear regression or the multiple linear regression but if the degree is 2, that means a certain kind of a, a variable, independent variable, has certain kind of a degree, that is x square or x cube. Okay, so that's why we made an equation like this for the degree 2. Okay, b0, b1, x1 plus b2, x square. x square means of degree 2. Okay, and if we have multiple kind of independent variables with different, different degrees we have, then it can be termed as like this. Okay b0 plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus b2 and b3 x1 square plus b4 x1 into x1 plus b5 x2 square okay these kind of uh, degrees we have and we need to calculate the slopes for all of these variables okay and then we have to decide the ordinary least square method or any kind of method we have to use okay okay so uh, this topic i will cover in our next video and uh, so let, let's just see the polynomial program here okay the polynomial program is here with the polynomial features i have okay this is the x this is the y this is the x this is the y and we add the polynomial feature with degree 2 here okay and with the help of degree 2 it fit the data and it will give us the x square okay this is the x square path that is 5 25 pin it just square the things okay and when we just try to find the linear regression by using this polynomial features as well we tend to get these kind of things we have r square is equal to 71 percent intercept is this and uh, coefficients are this but what if we can use this like this okay we have to include the bias in the data because above you see we don't include the bias it just multiply the these kind of x values and give, give us a kind of a a uh, non-linear component in the data but if we add the bias it will look like this and when we fit the model into the data it just make the intercept zero and it will pass through the origin and then it will give us the intercept for all, all these kind of things and along with the uh, r square that is approximately same because 71 is here 71 is here okay and we have to predict for the x square it, it is very uh, well as well and then we try to build a full model out of it and then it shows like this okay and uh, it is approximately the same okay so in that way you can build your uh, non-linear kind of a data linear regression model with the help of polynomial linear regression okay so polynomial linear regression model is just to work the same as the linear regression but we have to add or give the degrees in it or we have to provide some kind of biasness or no biasness in it and at the end we have this kind of a feature with our data it will give you the all the features of the intercept coefficients and the r, r, r square as well so that's a certain kind of a similar thing that, that we have okay so we'll meet in our next video and in the next next video i, I will uh, tell you about the uh, underfitting and overfitting issues in our uh, linear regression uh, problems as well and how to uh, overcome those issues as well okay so and guys thank you so much